Hi everyone, uh, in this video, we are going to demo how to install JDK, which is Java Development Kit, also Visual Studio Code. And inside Visual Studio Code, we'll install the extension pack for Java. So those three things should have you up and running for Comp 1010. Thank you very much to Bianca, who's uh, uh, finally agreed to help us with this demo recording. So the first thing we'll do is we'll search for Java Development Kit, open the browser, Chrome, and search for Java Development Kit. Sorry, Java. Java yeah. Development Kit. Oh, yeah. All right. JK21. Okay, so yeah, it's always safer to just install the latest one, which is 21. And because yeah. the user is on Windows, we're going to use Windows. Uh, I suggest uh, downloading the installer. Yep. So the X64 installer is the one that I prefer. A, in this case, it's around 160 megabytes. Yep. And nowadays these things have become much easier to use out of the box. Earlier you used to have to change class path and all sorts of environment variables, but now it pretty much works out of the box. So that's really useful. Internet's uh, <laughs> Actually, quite fast for now. Like fifteen years ago, I would have just left it there and just just gone to make some coffee or tea for myself. Uh, yeah. And also because it's around nine p.m. right now, so everyone's watching Netflix, so that affects internet speed. Yeah, right. absolutely. We are going to just double click on that and open that. It's thinking, it's thinking. What if you right click on the file? Oh, here we go. Finally. Yeah. Okay. So just uh, just follow the prompts. Next, next, next. Agree, agree. Just use the standard path that it provides you. So really, there's absolutely no need to change any setting. Okay, so we're just gonna, uh, what does it say? Successfully installed, fantastic. We'll close this. Yeah. And we'll open a new tab in the browser and search for Visual Studio Code. Uh, nowadays, the applications are pretty clever. They find the JDK installed and where it's installed quite easily. So you can click on either code.visualstudio dot com or you can click the download link either is fine what we need is a windows installer and you can just click on the the main option and it should determine your operating system and just give you a universal installer again this one is about a 200 megabyte file 
well, 94 megabyte. On Mac, it's around 200 megabytes. All right, so the download is almost finished. As soon as the download finish finishes, it's an executable file, so you can just double click and run that as well. That's okay. just, just cancel it and with the file uh, with the file explorer you can go back and forward again once oh there you go sorry there we go so just same thing except the agreement and don't don't change anything uh, here you can choose if you want to create a desktop icon if you want only then do it but I, I don't think you should right now so you can go back so disable create desktop uh, add open with code so, uh, that might be quite useful because if you have a Java file, then you can open it, open it with Visual Studio Code. In fact, Visual Studio Code is not just useful for Java, but it's also useful, useful for Python. It's also useful for Markdown. So it's a pretty powerful editor as well. So yeah, you can add an option. So when you right click on files, it gives you that option. All right, we'll go next and install this. So you can see that the installation is almost over. It's a pretty big software actually. Uh, so for that size of software, it's actually quite impressive that it installs it so quickly. Okay, we finish it and it says launch as well. That's good. So to reiterate, we've done two steps so far. We've installed Java Development Kit 21 and then we've installed Visual Studio Code. Towards the top left side, you'll see that it's actually like a tab. So that it's a welcome tab. You can close the welcome tab. On the bottom left side, you'll see a cog wheel. And that cog wheel is um, uh, settings or manage or uh, yeah. So in here, you'll go to extensions, which can also be done using control shift X. And you'll search for extension called extension pack for Java. Sorry for the laughter in the background. My 10 year old has discovered friends. <laughs> oh yeah, extension you can pack. The first one itself uh, authored by Microsoft around 20. Uh, oh, sorry, not this one. This so one? close this one. Uh, so a search for extension pack for Java. And that's the one. So you can you can see it's about it's about 25 million installations already. So we install this. And this has everything it needs. It has JUnit, it has everything that you need for uh, writing Java programs inside Visual Studio Code. So JDK is the programming language, while Visual Studio Code is the IDE or the Integrated Development Environment. So it does all sorts of things like highlighting and parsing and auto indentation, things like that. Without Visual Studio Code, you can think of it as if you're writing a Java program, you're writing it in a plain text file, like a text editor, plain text editor, like Notepad. But with this one, it's much more powerful. Yep. So as you can see that uh, the extension pack for Java has been installed. If you click on extension pack for Java again on the left-hand side panel, uh, it should say that, like it says disable and uninstall, which means it has been installed. Now what you can do is you can click on the two uh, uh, little uh, A4 pages icon on the top left side. Let me annotate on the screen. 
So this icon is the one to open a folder. You click on open folder. And so here it says, Steve, what you can do is you can click on new folder uh, towards top left. Top left, That's where the new folder is. And name it uh, without any spaces, my first Java program. Excellent. And double click on that and select the folder. So everything that we've done is fine. It will open that folder and yes, trust the authors. <laughs> Sorry about the cackling in the background. Okay, cool. Now, if you expand my first Java program on the top left, you'll see there are four icons and the four icons. Uh, so again, expand my first Java program. Oh, yeah. The first icon is to create a new file. And we'll name it and uh, we'll name it hello world.java, but the H and the W will be uppercase. Okay. Uppercase H and then uppercase uh, W. That's the naming convention in Java files. You also notice that when I uh, uh, give the extension Java, automatically the icon changes to J. Uh, which means that Visual Studio Code is doing its thing. It's identifying itself, it as a Java file and press enter. And now you are in the editor. Uh, now, what I would like you to do is, uh, again, you can accept or deny, it doesn't really matter. So type uh, all in all lower cases, class, C-L-A-S-S, -S, but don't press enter. Okay, so it's not really... Uh, doing the autocomplete, which is annoying. So, okay, uh, can you uh, close Visual Studio Code and then open it again? Yeah, of course. Maybe it needs to reload the first time. So let's just close it and then open it again. It might have been in program files here. Yeah. Okay, so it's not doing that, that's fine. Uh, so instead of class, uh, can I request remote control? So I'm gonna request remote control from you so I can type. Okay, uh, I have remote control now. Uh, let me just go, okay, yeah. Um, it, sometimes it takes a while for it to recognize that it's a Java file. So let's see. No. Okay, that's okay. So we'll type public class hello world. The name of this public class must be exactly the same as the file that we've given, case sensitive. Inside that we'll type public static void. And you can now see that autocomplete has kicked in. So we're gonna try that again, what I was trying to do earlier. No need to worry about that, what it means right now, but you can see that the run and debug option has in fact appeared. Yeah. And I'll do system out print ln. I am inside the matrix. You might be too young to know that reference, but whatever. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> so uh, here we have a println statement and we run it. And if everything that we've done and we allow access, yeah. and da -da -da -da, if things we've done are in fact correct, you can see the output statement appears on the console. I am inside the matrix. Inside our project, we'll say another dot Java. So we are creating a new file called another dot Java. 
Uh -huh. So now you can see that autocomplete I was talking about has kicked in. Yeah, cool. Because when I created another dot Java, automatically the public class was created. Let me try and test one thing again. So if I get rid of everything and type class, ah, there you go. So our mistake, I mean, my mistake was I didn't wait for like 10, 15 seconds for this module to load up. When you type class, and I'm gonna relinquish the control, Bianca, uh, stop remote support. And I will request you to share the screen one more time. Excellent. Uh, you can get rid of class, so go back, 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 back. Sorry, let me just close. Yeah. Okay. Now type class, and if you if you click on the uh, so a little oh, sorry, get it. Yeah. No worries. So backspace one more time. And if you press the one with the square icon against it. This one here or? The first one, the one with the square icon yeah. against it. So it creates a class automatically for you. Inside the class, you need a main function. If you type simply main, again, you can see there is an option with square uh, the square icon main. So it, that yeah. completes it for you. And inside that you can type in all lower cases, S-Y-S-O-U-T, sys out. Oh, sorry, not here. So uh, uh, between the curly bracket, that's correct. Sys out. And you can click on that and it generates the system.out.println statement. Whatever you print inside it in double quotes yeah. is displayed as it is. So if you yeah. put double quotes. Sorry, uh, in here. Uh, so the double quotes as in the air quotes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. And between the two double quotes, you can print whatever you want. So you can put whatever movie, book, reference you like. I'll be back. Classic. Uh, let's, and to run this, uh, I'll let you guess how can you run it. Run hey, so, yeah. see, uh, so for 1,010 students, again, it's a very, uh, one of my advices is just play around and try it out. And there you go. I'll be back is there. And that completes our JDK plus Visual Studio Code plus extension pack for Java installation on Windows. Thank you very much, Bianca, for helping us with this. Um, yeah, no worries. I appreciate it. All good. Thank you.